Today, I'm gonna to go over five great audiobooks. But first, let's go for a run. I've been told that time will heal all our wounds and our sorrows too. No more clouds, no more rain. I need sun to ease my pain. Before this night is over, I will guide you home. Seven point two four miles, eight minutes, twenty one seconds per mile, one hundred and thirty nine beats per minute today. Getting outside for a run at about one hour, one hour zero minutes and twenty eight seconds to be precise for my run today. Uh, having a good time. A little bit chilly out there. I did have a face mask on with me. I didn't always wear it when the streets were just absolutely empty. Is when I would kind of take it off. Uh, but when I saw people around or when there were a lot of other activity around, that's when I would put it back on. But today what I want to talk about is five great audiobooks that I've really enjoyed that are all running themed. Uh, in the last live stream and in a couple of live streams, you guys have been asking me about like what audiobooks or what books have I been reading uh, that are running related during this time. So I thought I'd make a quick list for you guys. The first one I'm going to give you is David Goggins book, Can't Hurt Me. It's just an absolutely fantastic book. Uh, really motivational. Lots of people have read it, um, whether they're runners or not. Uh, but I think it's especially helpful for runners to be able to uh, read and understand his story of overcoming just some of the most insane uh, obstacles both in his life and in terms of challenges that he later in life then voluntarily took on. Uh, the audiobook is particularly interesting because of the way it's done. He doesn't read the entire thing, uh, but he is involved at the end of like every chapter. So at the end of every chapter, the regular uh, reader kind of like break from like narration mode or reading mode and then have like a little bit of a not a Q&A but sometimes a Q&A but a conversation with David Goggins after each chapter so it's really fascinating to get kind of like not only his book but also like a director's cut uh, commentary about the chapter that you just heard about so it's been really fascinating uh, to listen to so that was probably one of my favorite audiobooks. Uh, the next one that I'll talk about is one that I'll put up here because I really enjoyed the book. Uh, and this is one that I actually read, uh, didn't uh, listen to on audiobook, but this is one I read a while ago. It's Chris McDougall's Born to Run, just a fantastic story about running and adventure and kind of not being reckless, but not necessarily being rational and reasonable, but just kind of going and doing. Uh, it's just a fantastic story. Um, and experiencing running and running people and running cultures. Uh, really amazing. Uh, I One of the books that I think is really great about running. Uh, I've never really been all that interested in reading like a running novel, but it reads very much like a running novel. Uh, so, uh, But it is a nonfiction account. So uh, a very good book. The next one that I'll talk about is Running to the Edge. It is by Matthew Futterman, uh, a really fascinating book. Uh, that started out a little bit slow for me, but uh, once I got into the story, I really just loved it. It's a, it's a story about Coach Bob Larson, uh, who uh, coached uh, a group of kids in the San Diego area, uh, went on to coach the Hemel Toads, and then coached at UCLA, coached uh, Team USA in the Olympics, uh, and is probably most famously known as being Meb Kaflezi's coach. 
um, or I guess if you're a track and field person, being the coach at UCLA. Uh, and so uh, just a fascinating story, diving into some of his background, but also his training philosophies and following the storyline of the different people that he had trained. So it's been really influencing a lot of my running now uh, as well in terms of like the types of training that I'm inserting into my marathon training block. So I've been really enjoying that book. Uh, the next one that I'll talk about is by Adarnan Finn, uh, which is Running with the Kenyans. He's got three books now, I think. Uh, Running with the Kenyans, I believe, was his first one, where he's an Englishman that wanted to figure out what it is about Kenyan runners that made them so successful, much like many others have been trying to do and are still trying to really figure out. Uh, and what he did was he picked up his himself and his family, uh, his wife and two children, uh, and they moved down to Iten uh, in Kenya and decided to figure out what it is that makes the runners there so great. So quite a, a, like an adventure story, a little bit terrifying because he's got two kids as well. So as uh, like I found myself relating to it a lot, uh, having somewhat similar, he's a lot faster than me, but somewhat similar speeds to him. Uh, but also having a wife and two kids and trying to like put myself into that kind of situation where you're just jumping in with two feet and trying to figure out a situation and live and collecting some amazing stories along the way. Um, so that's a very good book. Uh, the fifth one that I'll talk about is Endure by Alex Hutchinson, uh, which is a, a collection of stories, really. It's kind of going over what well, starts out talking about how Alex Hutchinson was covering uh, the uh, first breaking two attempt uh, and talking about that and how he had made some sort of predictions. I believe he was thinking that the, the closest that humans would come to a sub to marathon would be somewhere in like 2050 or 2075 uh, based on kind of like projections that all the scientists and data had put together. Um, and so he was there uh, at the breaking two project and just like not hardly believing it at all. But then from there, he goes back into how he got to that point, which he's been studying uh, and writing about like sports science for a very long time. And he covers lots of different aspects of sports science, not just runners, but also cycling, where a lot of the research kind of originated from and where the experimentation has been occurring. And so a really good look at the science behind a lot of the stuff that we're all hearing about as runners in 2020, uh, but a really in-depth look at some of those things. Uh, the forward is by Malcolm Gladwell, who is one of my favorite nonfiction writers. Uh, he's also one of my favorite speakers to watch speak as well. Just a very interesting, thoughtful, uh, eccentric kind of guy uh, who is also uh, a pretty dedicated runner in and of himself. Uh, so uh, that's a, bit, a pretty like nice little bonus to that story. So those are five great audiobooks that I think that uh, some of you have probably read some of those, but I'm hoping that some of the other ones might be surprises to you, ones that are worth checking out. Uh, and uh, I'll even give you two bonuses uh, from some of those books if you've read all the books that are already on this list as well. The first bonus is going to be like kind of like if you've already read Running to the Edge, I think that you should then follow that up with Meb Kofleski's book, Run to Overcome. And that's because in Running to the Edge, the author talks a lot about uh, Bob, coach Barb Larson's time coaching Meb Kofleski. And then I think that if you follow that up right away with Meb Kofleski's first book, then I think that's a nice one-two punch to have. In audiobook format, the thing that's really disappointing is that the narrator, at least the one that's on audible.com, the narrator sounds very different than Meb Kofleski. I can understand why Meb maybe didn't want to, or maybe his publishers or the producers didn't want him to narrate it. I always love it when the authors narrate their own books. Um, but I know that Meb doesn't have a problem speaking English and he could read English. He wrote the book. Um, so it was disappointing that it wasn't him. And the guy whose accent it is that does read it is like just on polar opposite end of Meb Kofleski's accent. So that's unfortunate, but the book is still very good. And then the other kind of follow-up book for my second bonus that I'll give you guys is um, Matt Fitzgerald's How Bad Do You Want It? So if you've already read Endure, uh, where they start talking about like the biology of the human machine, uh, How Bad Do You Want It? is a nice kind of like similar vein where they're talking about sports science, uh, but they're talking about it from the psychological aspect of it, saying that, it, that the human body and our performance isn't just a collection of muscles, tendons, neurons, and like uh, aerobic and anaerobic inputs and outputs. Uh, there's a mental aspect to it that kind of 
defies the idea that the human body is just a collection of like VO2 max numbers and extrapolation tables. Uh, and so reading those two books like right, right very close to each other, I think could be a really interesting look to like the body of sports science that's out there. So that could be a really fun one to follow up on. So those are my five recommendations plus two bonuses uh, of books that you can read that I've really enjoyed that are related to running. Uh, if you have some favorites that I haven't talked about, put them in the comments down below because I'm always still looking for stuff. I just finished Dina Castor's book, which I thought was also really good. Uh, but every time I finish a book, then I'm like, all right, what's what's the next one which is the next one should i read so i'm currently looking for another one so i'd love to hear about what you guys have really enjoyed that's all i have for today everybody uh thank you so much for making it at the end of the video hope you guys are staying safe out there and i will see you guys tomorrow yo what's going on